What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Rank Double Ladder with this Tangrowth and Licky Licky Squad. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. These two Pokemon right here, I've been trying to get my hands on for a while now. Shout out to my boy Randy for coming in clutch, making me another team. This team looks amazing. I cannot wait to show it off. So we got Tangrowth and Licky Licky here, two new Pokemon. And these guys are rather slow, so it's a trick room team. It's a trick room team. Kind of had to do it if uh, we're going to play with both these guys because they are some slow mons. But rocking out in that front spot, we got Tangrowth right here. We got Giga Drain, Knock Off, Sleep Powder, and Protect with the Leftovers and Regenerator to keep its HP up and keep it surviving longer. Next, we got our boy Licky Licky, brand new Pokemon here as well. We got Cloud9 as his ability, so when he's out, no weather effects can happen. So say he's out on the field, and then a T-Tar comes out, Cloud9 will just cancel that out, and then we'll be chilling. This thing has that weakness policy to boost attack if it gets hit by a super effective attack. Has Body Slam for Stab, Rock Slide, Hammer Arm, and Knock Off for coverage moves, and Knock Off pick up those items. You guys already know the deal with that one. We got Slowking right here, another new Pokemon that we have never showed off with Regenerator, Lumberry, Psychic, Muddy Water, Trick Room, and Heal Pose. So we can get uh, Slowking in with like hand growth or licky licky and keep heal pulse them up and keeping them alive longer we got grimmy poo over here who i absolutely love you guys already know i love the screens grim snarl it just helps out so much as taunt both the screens with the light light and spirit break it's just such a good pokemon and keeps your team alive way longer can't have a trick room team without your girl hatterene over here we got magic bounce and life orb on that thing normal move set going out with dazzling gleam psychic Missile, cool fire, and trick room. Nothing you guys haven't seen before. Then in the final spot, we got Flareon. This is pretty dope. This is pretty dope. It has that salt vest, flash fire, so it can just soak up a fire move and not even take damage from it. Flare Blitz, Dig, Superpower, and Iron Tail. I think this Pokemon's gonna come up clutch, say if we have Tangrowth, and we know fire moves coming in here, we can swap in and get rolling from there. If you guys want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Man, I'm so hyped. These are two Pokemon I really want to show off, the Sinnoh Evolutions. I cannot wait for all the other ones to come out in the Crown Tundra. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys. This guy has a semi trick room team of his own. He has Rillaboom, Dragapult, Malwak, well, Alolan Malwak, Urshifu, Porygon 2 to set trick room, and DD as well. So, um, who should I go out into? Who should I go out into? I kind of want to set up screens early on, so let's get out uh, the boy Grimmy Grimmy. I'm going to get out Grimmy Grimmy. I do want to set up a trick room. I really do want to set up a trick room. But uh, who should I go into? Hmm. I don't want to go into Tangrowth, but not in the lead. I would definitely want to bring Tangrowth. He's just so cool. Actually, I don't know. I mean, Grass is doing too too much. I'm going to bring Licky Licky, and I think I'm going to bring Hatterene with Slowking. Hmm. What shall I do? I'm going to bring. Uh, I'm gonna go Slowking turn one. I'm going to go Hatterene and Licky Licky. We'll save Tangrowth. For battle number two. For the next battle. This is first battle, so we chilling here. Trying to get ourselves on the board early. Try to get ourselves a nice big fat win. But let's see what happens. This seems kinda of throwing me off. I know the Malwak does thrive in Trick Room, so I really gotta watch out for that. I do have muddy water and Slowking with the stab water moves. So that's pretty nice. That's gonna be pretty nice. But I have to lead Trick Room on. Even if he's going into Trick Room before he got to, I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. If you guys want to catch more content from me, head down to link in the description below. Gene25 on Twitch. We stream three to four days every single week. Hit that follow button, turn on notifications so you know when I go live. You guys already know the deal. You guys already know the deal. Hmm. Let's see who he goes into. Let's see who he goes into. Rillaboom, if I had to guess. We're going to end in DD. Okay, I'm totally fine by that. I'm not going to set up Trick Room. I'm going to set up Light Screen turn one. And I'm going to get rolling. I'm going to get Light Screen up and I'm going to start dealing damage. Psychic Surge coming out here. That's going to help my boy out. It's going to help my boy out all day. Someone's got to be rocking out with seeds, is it? Is it Porygon? Who's got seeds on him? Ndidi is holding seeds herself right there because it's female Ndidi. And so Light Screen definitely coming out here. Got to watch out for expanding forces and all that. And then I'm just going to drop a nice big fat Psychic over onto uh, Porygon too. Do some damage, even though this thing's Evo Light it and can uh, eat up. I'm cool with it. It's fine, man. It's fine. Light Screen coming out here. This thing's definitely going for an expanding force. Hopefully Porygon goes for that Trick Room. I will thrive under that Trick Room. Gleam comes out. I'm fine with that. That's totally fine by me. We eat up all day, yo. Thank you, Light Screen. Porygon 2 is going for T-Bolts. Okay. I'm cool with it. Maybe I should set a uh, set the Trick Room. Let's go Psychic. I'm going to do a little bit of damage before I do set the Trick Room here. Boom. No, not bad, not bad. I'm going to lower the things out of Special Attack now. Let's go here. Help on that Porygon. And I'm going to I'm gonna Psychic up into it again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it with Double Psych Up. Or Psychic. I'm gonna just keep lowering the thing's special attack. The scary thing is that, that if I go Trick Room, he can just counteract me with the Trick Room as well. That's why I have to kind of play it really, really slow. He's gonna withdraw in DD, which is totally fine with me. I'll set up a Trick Room next turn. 
Oh, he's gonna go into Dragon Ball. I thought for sure he was gonna go into a, uh, into a, what's it called? Into the Witch of Macaw. Uh, blah, 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 blah. bolts coming out here on the Slow King. Slow King's gonna eat up once again. Um, I'm gonna set Trick Room right now. I'm gonna set up my Reflect and Trick Room. The reason I'm doing that right now is because I don't think he's gonna go for Trick Room right now. So I'm gonna uh, set up my Reflect for that Dragapult. And then I'm going to uh, set this Trick Room up. Get rolling with that. Get rolling with that. Hopefully that Dragapult doesn't just dump on my Slow King. That could be a little, that could be a little tough. But if not, we got Hatterene in the back. Hatterene should be fine. Well, the ghost move would probably dump on that too, but we're going for it now. We're going for it now. The thing is, say I go Trick Room now and his Porygon doesn't go for it, for him to counteract it, I'll just uh, taunt him. I would just taunt him and he won't uh, get off that Trick Room. We're going to go with that. Dragapult's going for a Phantom Force. Lovely. He's going to vanish instantly. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it, man. He's going to recover. So now I'm going to taunt him and then I'm going to start teeing off on him. And then I'm going to bring out Licky Licky next turn or Hatterene. I don't even know who I should go into. I'm thinking Hatterene. Hatterene has that Life Orb. And she'll definitely thrive under there. The trick room does get bopping now. We are bopping up. And now we uh, double up. Now we double up here. Because we are going to go first. I'm going to go here and I'm going to go Psychic. Because Psychic will do more under the uh, Psychic Surge. Okay, take me out. I need somebody to take me out. Maybe I should just swap the Grimmsnarl. But boop. And we're going to get a special attack drop on that thing as well. Was I supposed to taunt him? I think I was supposed to taunt him. Maybe I'll taunt him this turn. <laughs> I think I totally forgot to taunt him. I'm so dumb. Could you imagine if you would trick him? I would have been so mad. Just go back on my plan. They go take him out. Okay, that's lovely. Okay, that is lovely. Wait, right, definitely get out Hatterene. Definitely taunt up on that uh that Porygon. And take out the Pult. Is this a G Max Hatterene? It might be, but no. Look at these manja. We still got Licky Licky in the back end. And we can set up another trick room with Hatterene. She's a beast. She is a beast. Let's get it. Let's get it. Taunt coming out here. What you want, fool? We taunting up on you. We'll taunt you. And we go Dynamax, G-Max, Smite, and we'll confuse everybody on the field. This is a G-Max Hatterene here. Then with y'all pull. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go back into Indeedy. Yeah, do it. Yeah. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Get out my face. Get out my face. Actually, I don't think you could taunt under Psychic Surge. Now that I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know how this is looking. <laughs> I don't know how this is looking, but I know we're going to get the duck trolling. We're going to get the confusions up. It's going to be nice. And I still have big old Licky Licky in the back. WP Wicky Licky. Licky Licky. That weakness policy. Taunt comes out. I don't think you can taunt under Surge. Yeah, or Terrain. I should have thought about that afterwards. It's fine. Mike comes out. Oh, big old damage. We just did a little poo-poos on him. We give him ducks around. Ducks on the ducks. Hurt yourselves. Hurt yourselves. Let's see what happens here. I need Porygon to hurt himself here. Hurt yourself, Porygon. You're trash. Don't you dare do it. Oh, right, he's just gonna recover. I thought he sent up Trick Room all day. Um, how should I do this? And he's ducked up. I kind of want to go. Hmm. Where I'm gonna go here? Definitely wanna go for a Spirit Break and take out the uh, Indeedy. And then I kind of wanna go for a Max Mindstorm and set this terrain once again because this will actually help us out. This will actually help us out the terrain. We already got the we already got the ducks rolling. We already got the ducks. So I'm gonna go into a stab move right here. She's gonna witch all Porygon, which is totally fine. And who are you going into? A Malwack. You're gonna go into a Malwack here. Which is totally fine. You gotta hurt yourself. Take yourself out. How come every single time that I attack with confusion, I get hurt? But when they do it, they don't get touched. I, I just don't I just don't understand it. I just, I just don't understand it. Every time that I try to attack with confusion, I hurt myself. These guys are just like, nah, yo, confusion isn't a thing. It's not, it's not real. It's not real. So, that's whack. Adarine loses HP and Spirit Breaks gonna come across. And we all build up on that. Do a little bit of damage. But dude, that max mindstorm would have been gross on that thing. We would have been able to do some work. We do have one more turn. This thing is a uh, trick room, but we are slower. We are slower, so I'm gonna get after this thing. He's gonna go on the Porygon too. And I'm just gonna spirit break up on him. And roll from there. I'm gonna go spirit break. And then go into a uh G Max Smite. No no no. Max Mindstorm? Yeah. We gotta go Max Mindstorm because we do have the psychic terrain out and going. So that's cool. We're looking good with that one. We're looking good with that one. I think he's gonna Dynamax Malwak here. 
Yeah, but what's called slow? Hatterene is slower. I think Hatterene is still, even with the new Alabama Pokemon, still probably the slowest Pokemon, or one of the slowest Pokemon in this game. So, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good with this battle. I still got my boy Licky Licky in the back, who cannot go for a stand move against that Dragapult because he's Ghost or this Malwax. So, we're gonna have to get rid of some of these Mons. We're gonna have to get rid of these, some of these guys. And I still have, uh, don't I still have Slow King? Or Slow King go down? I totally forget. But Malwax taking some big old damage here. He's probably gonna guard next turn. Probably gonna guard next turn. Phantasm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold up. Hold up. I think hits like an absolute truck, dude. Get it out. Just get going. Get it out of here. I'm sick of this thing. I'm sick of this thing. Malwak hits too hard, man. He hits too hard. Do we still have Slow King in the back? Oh, I think Slow King went down. I think it's lightning riding up. Oh, you little hunk of junk. You little hunk of junko. I'm getting real tired of you. Getting real tired of you. Spirit Break comes out. Yoink. Doing a little bit of damage over there. Lower another thing, special attack. But he's just going to set up this Malwak. He is just going to set up this Malwak. So now we got to go into a... Uh, a faster mon, even though we do not have any faster mon. Slow King's dead. How fast is this thing? 49? Grimstar should be able to outspeed that thing. I said we gotta double up into this, uh, this Malwak. Get him out of here. The Pult's looking a little scary, too. The Poltsky is looking a little scary. Unless we can keep our Spirit Break, uh, fully up in here. But Licky Licky out here. Looking good. I gotta, I gotta double up into it. Like, that's a fact. I gotta get rid of this thing. Or I can just, you know, I'm just gonna knock off and take that thing out. I'm just gonna go into a. I gotta go back to my Grimstone. I'm gonna lower this thing special attack again. And then uh, go for this knockoff. Hopefully, we outspeed this thing. I don't know who's gonna be faster. Show me my boy. Show me my boy, Licky. Oh, yeah, you going guard. You going guard, aren't you? Yeah, you going guard, aren't you, little boy? Maybe I should have knocked off that item. Yeah, you better guard. You better guard. Maybe he's going for a Trick Room here. I think he might go for a Trick Room. Did this help us out? No, he's gonna go straight for an Ice Beam. Over onto Grimmy Grims. Grimmy Grim will eat that up all day. All day, baby. Knock off. Is he going to miss? I wonder what that thing's speed is. That's my question. Lich Queen wears off. So I'm going to set up. I do not need to set up another one right now. Actually, I will. It's, it's not a big deal. I'll set up the Lich Queen just so we have it. I'm going to knock off on the Malwag. Show me that my Licky Licky outspeeds this thing. It could do some work. It could do some work. Because I'll just go for the Spirit Break over onto the... Uh, the Dragapult after this, and then just knock off the Porygon 2's uh, Evo Light, and then Porygon 2's nothing without its Evo Light. And it's already minus uh, in the special attack board. Ice Cream coming out. Yo, set that up. Get it going. Come on, Licky Licky. Need you to clutch it up here. Malwax is so strong. He recovers. That's totally fine. I don't I don't mind the recovers. Like, I don't mind Porygon 2 staying alive when I know I have knockoff. Because I can just take out that Evo Light at any time. Knockoff comes out. Take him out. Let's go, Licky Licky! Licky Licky outspeeds and takes out that Malwax. So we're going to have a close one here. We are going to have a close one here. I think my Reflect wears off here, which I'm going to have to set off another one. I am going to have to set off another one here. And I think that the pole is going to vanish. I really do think the pole is going to vanish. So I have no problem going into a Reflect and knocking off that. Uh, Wait, let me let me check out Reflect real quick. We need it. No, we still have one more turn Reflect. So I have no problem going into. I'm going to Spirit Break and then go into a knockoff over on that other side. Over on to Porygon. Because I don't want that item on it. Because I really do think this thing is going to vanish. Oh, well, there you go. He flies. So either way, he takes a nice little vanish move. Which I'm cool with. We're going to knock off this thing's Evo Light. And then I'm going uh, to throw a knockoff over on that thing. Ice Beam comes out. Yo, we chilling. And I'll set up a Reflect next turn. Oh my god, yo. We eating. Long first battle coming at you guys. Boop. Give me that Evo Light, little boy. Give me that Evo Light. No more Reflect. Weirdness disappears. That's fine. That's fine. So now we go into a Reflect. And now we drop. I think I just go straight. Do I go straight into a hammer arm and slow us down? We're already slow anyway. So I'm going to uh, go after this Porygon too. With this big old hammer arm. Reflect. Yeet. Big old hammer arm coming down here. That's what I like about hammer arm. It just lowers my speed. Like if I already know I'm slower than everybody, that's totally fine. Reflects up. Crimson Arrow is able to eat. And then we can go into a nice, lovely... This thing goes into an ice beam. I think we should be good. I think we should be chilling here. Hammer arm should be able to do a decent amount of damage to this Porygon too. Nicky Licky coming in. Boop. Not bad damage. He's going to recover. I think I got to worry about the uh, Grimstar. Or not the Grimstar. The Dragapult. But even though I think Dragapult might fly away again. I still got to still gotta apply pressure to it. And go for the hammer arm over here. I still got to do that. Even though it's probably going to go recover fly. This one's going to be a long one. Yep. Here goes the fly again. 
Bruh. Bruh. This one's gonna be close. I don't know how this one's gonna end. Long first battle coming for you guys. The cover comes out. That was That's an obvious. Come on, give me a crit or something. Give me a crit or something. Getting real sick of this. Getting real sick of this. Hammer arm comes out. Yeet. Nope. Oh, this thing's just gonna be a pain in my neck, this Porygon 2. This Porygon 2 is gonna be a pain. We got a long battle coming for you guys. Um, I think I go for the Spirit Break. No, 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 no. Spirit, I gotta get this pole. I gotta do some work with this pole. So I'm gonna do Spirit Break, and I'm gonna knock off this thing's item. See what this thing's holding. I think it might be a Life Orb. Fly comes out. It's gonna take out my Grimmy Poo. Go for my Licky Licky. Nope. Grimmy Poo, no! Grim Snarl goes down. And yeah, this thing is Life Orb. So we're gonna take off its Life Orb. The cover comes out for Porygon, like... Porygon's just pestering around here. But if I bring it down to a 1v1 situation, I think we should be good here. Knockoff comes out, take him out. I love you, Licky Licky. I love you, big dog! Takes out the big old Polsky. And now we're sitting here. Now we're sitting here. You know how that thing's life orb. It's gone. Get it out. 1v1, can Licky Licky clutch it up? I, dude, I have no idea. This one is going to be closer than like I really think. I might try to leave this thing paralyzed. Go into some uh, body slams. Stab. Even though super effective, probably doing more there. Ice Beam coming out. He's probably looking to get the freeze. I'm looking to get the paralyze here. I don't feel like dealing with this thing. This dude just cancel. Give me the paralyze. Give me the paralyze. Show it to me. Oh my. Oh my lord. Come on, baby. What you want? You don't want it. Let's get this hammer arm rolling. We coming for you, dog. We coming for you now. You don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> He's so fast, he's gonna go for Ice Beam. If he's paralyzed this next turn, we got this one in the bag. If he's paralyzed this next turn, we got this one in the bag. Hammer Arm comes out. Yo, or give me a crit. He's sitting good. Another Hammer Arm could do him dirty. Could do him dirty. Come on, take him out. Show me this thing's paralyzed. End this battle. Oh, oh, let's go. Land it, land it, land it. Let's go, GG. Paralyzed coming in clutch. Licky Licky coming in clutch in battle number one. That was awesome battle. That was a very good battle. Let's get it. 1-0 with this team. Let's hop into battle number two and try to show off Tangrowth in that second battle. Licky Licky clutching up that last battle. We are in battle number two right here. He's got Incineroar. Uh, this team's kind of looking annoying. Terrakion on Urshifu. Um, he's got Rillaboom. Rillaboom's a beast. And Togekiss. And Togekiss. So, I, I, this team is uh, very trick roomy. So, we have to get off that trick room. I kind of want to go... Hmm... Hmm, definitely Slow King. I think I go Slow King, Grimmsnarl, Tangrowth into Flareon. I think that might be the call here. I'm like I'm liking how this is looking so far. Let's do it. Let's get it. let's get that rolling. Let's get that rolling. Dynamax Pokemon is probably gonna be our Flareon or maybe the uh, Slow King. Slow King's not too bad here. I mean they're just uh, defensive bulks, but maybe I should have brought Hatterene. Hatterene is a beast. That or Licky Licky could be or probably our best two Dynamax Pokemon. But I want to bring in Flareon and Tangrowth to try to show them up in this battle. But let's get it. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do here. We're going up against Marnie. Doesn't this look exactly like Marnie from uh, the story mode? Here's Urshifu over here with the uh, with the Whimsy. With the Whimsy Whimsy. And we're fine to set off this Trick Room. I'm totally good to set off this Trick Room. I'm going to set up a Reflect turn one. So that thing doesn't really do too, too much work to me. And then I'm going to just set up this Trick Room. Let's get it going. Let's get it going, dogs. And I'm going to set up this Reflect. Even though I could go into Spirit Break, I'll do it next turn. He might actually taunt me. He might actually taunt me. Now that I think about it. Now that I think about it. Don't you dare taunt me, Whimsy. Don't you dare taunt me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Maybe I should have just went into a Psychic and dumped on the Urshi. On the Urshifu. But. I think he might taunt. No, he's not. He stinks. He stinks. He's not doing it. He's not going to do it. <laughs> he's going to try to set up a Tailwind. Do it! Set up a tailwind! <laughs> I think he's thinking right now. I think he really is deep down thinking right now. We get off. Oh, he goes for a light screen. Huh? We've seen a screens whimsicott. I was like, what's going on? I was like, I thought I hit reflect, but no, screens whimsicott comes out here. We're gonna set up our re reflect. This thing's gonna U turn out. Okay, see you later. Thanks for coming around. And Slow King is gonna be able to get off this lovely little trick room. This lovely little trick room. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, trick room's gonna come out. Um, I think I get out my Flareon maybe next turn. And Dynamax him. We'll see. We'll see who he goes into. He's gonna go into Grassy Glide, dude. No, he's gonna go into here and try to get off my fake out. Um, I'm cool with it. None of these dudes are... Well, the Grimstone is, but still. I was still gonna say none of these dudes are physical attacking. Trick room's out. Yeet! Spin those floors, baby. Spin them around. 
And I'm gonna check out Flareon's stats. I actually didn't get a chance to check out Flareon's stats. Seems he's decent. The attacking, yeah, yo, he's big attacking right here. Look at his stats, yo. 200 attack, he's our Dynamax Bond. And we're gonna get him out after this and have him roll out. He's at Soul Fest as well. And I can just go straight into a Muddy Water and set up my Reflect. My Reflect. Hey. No, wait, did we just set up Reflect? We did. So let's set up our light screen now. Get our screens up. And he's definitely gonna fake out. He's gonna double into my Slow King, in my opinion. But Slow King already did his job. We have Tangrowth in the back, so I think I can get in my Flareon after this. Take out that Incineroar, have Tangrowth be a defensive bulk throughout the rest of this match. Is that Urshifu? I think that's the Water Urshifu, right? Is that the Water Urshifu? I think it was. Could have been the funny. I can't really tell the difference. No, withdraw Whimsy. No, withdraw Whimsy, and he's gonna go into Togi. Togi Wogi Wogi. We'll go with a fake out, obviously. That's fine. I'm going to a muddy water after this, and we got our Lich Queen up now. He might actually Dynamax that uh that a uh, Toad Kiss. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Muddy water come out, and then we are going to uh, Spirit Break, and I'm gonna lower this thing special attack. I am going to lower that thing special attack. Oh yeah yeah yeah, play it slow, hey, play it slow, hey hey, play it slow, hey yeah yeah. <laughs> I don't know, for some reason I always like playing it slow for some reason. Like I feel like I uh, play better when it's like that. Instead of just like Dynamax in turn one, I like to set up, kind of play it slow, let those guys make moves, and then make my moves off of his moves. And this is kind of a team to deal with, to, to, to play it slow. Hmm. What are you going to do? I, th I feel like he's going to try to take out my Slow King. My Slow King's going to be able to eat up a shot here. He's going to withdraw. Okay, he's going to withdraw in Sinor. That's totally fine. And who are you going to go into now? Back into Wimscott over on the side. I don't know, like, what he's trying to do. Waste out the Trick Room? He's trying to waste out the Trick Room? Is that what he's trying to do? I think, that, that, I think that's what he's trying to do. I mean, I hope he takes out my... Ooh, we drop Accuracy? We get a Spirit Break off here? I think he's trying to waste out Trick Room, but I hope he kind of takes out my Sloking here. We do minus one on him. I think he's going to go into a Gleam here. Yeah. Thing comes out. Eat. And we eat, dude. We eat up all day. How many turns left in the Trick Room? Do I just make a swap now? Two turns. I kind of want at least one turn. Yeah, I think I gotta make a swap. Actually, how fast is Flareon? Hold up. How fast is Flareon, though? Is he even a Trick Room on? 76, yeah. He could he could thrive on his Trick Room. I'm gonna swap him out. I'm gonna swap Slow King to get that Regenerator back. And I'm just gonna Spirit Break up again. Because I have a Soul Fest. And if I just keep lowering Special Attack, we should be chilling here. And then I'll get one turn in the Trick Room. And I'll just Dynamax and probably set the heat from there and roll out after that. Like, I'm, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. And then maybe get my Slow King in on the other slide, other side and roll another Trick Room. This dude's doing a good good job wasting out this Trick Room. We're going to put my Regenerator ability to use. Get some HP back with that. Flareon's going to pop. He has a Soul Fest. So he should be able to eat up just fine. Especially with the screens. This thing's going to be minus two. Mm, 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 mm. Playing slow, playing it nice. I'm not worried about Tokus. I'd rather... Uh, Flare up onto that uh Boom Scott. Grimstar avoids. Watch this. Watch this. This is a nice little snacky out there. Tasty snack. The tastiest snack you have. Gonna go for a Moonblast. Oh my god, even tastier. That's an even tastier snack, dude. Nice swap by me. And now I am going to actually uh Dynamax here. Did I set the heat? Yeah, I'm gonna set the heat. Take out you. And then I'm gonna swap out into my Slow King here. Because flaring on should go first. Flareon should go first. I'm not worried about Tokus like at all. I'm not worried about Tokus one bit. One, not one little bit. Not one little bit. Not even close. Not even close. Minus two. We got the light chamber. <laughs> bro, bro, what you want? We get this off. Slow battle number two. This might be a longer video. This might be a longer video. We might only get two battles in on today's videos. I think we might only do a two battler today, guys. Depending how this battle goes. Do have Tangrowth out here. Do have Tangrowth here. So we're gonna withdraw. He's gonna withdraw as well, which is totally fine. And what are you gonna go for? Or he going into? It's an you biscuit. You biscuit, bro. You little biscuit, bro. I ain't dealing with you, bro. You little biscuit. Oh, spoil all my plans, but so I'm gonna get off this heat, which I, which I really like. Which I really, really like it. Yeah. -na 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 -na. If we win this, we'll probably be a two battle. If we lose, you know we gotta go battle number three and, and make a deciding, deciding battle, you know? That's already no deal. Flash Flyer boys coming out here. 
He might already minus one us, but we're gonna get this heat off. We are gonna get the drought off. Because my flare. Yoy! Set it up! Getting no poo poo damage. Poo poo damage! <laughs> He's definitely faking me out. I might just swap and get more HP. At the at this point, I might just swap and get more HP. Oh, slow king avoiding. And the light screens wear up. I'm gonna swap and get more HP. If he's just gonna fake me out, like that's a fact, right? If he's just gonna swap, I mean if he's just gonna fake out, I might as well swap and get more HP and go into back into Grim Snarl and set up more screens. I'm gonna play this one so slow. I'm gonna regenerate up here. I'm gonna get my screens up and I'm gonna win this match. I need to get this incinerator out of the way, that's a fact. He's definitely gotta go with the fake out, right? Definitely gotta go with the fake out, so swapping's fine. I'll just take more HP. Probably get back up to full health, almost full health, and get my, uh, and do that. Okay, so he's gonna withdraw there, that's totally fine. And he's gonna send out Urshifu. Yep, Urshifu does come out. And Slow King dropping back as well. And we're going to be able to do this. We're going to be able to raise our special defense. I think he's going to Dynamax after this. I really do think he's going to Dynamax after this. Oh, you're just going to taunt. Oh, you biscuit. You little biscuit. Surprised he didn't go for the fake out. Uh, that's fine. We swap. And here comes our Quake. Special defense boost. Uh, potential KO here. I think it's going to take out. Let's see. No, oh, Put him down to like red. Little one area. If he didn't lower our attack, we would have been fine. But there's that. Special defense boost. I cannot screen. And the berry's coming out here. The berry is going to come out here. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe Knuckle boost our attack here. And Spear Break on that left side. We got to get our attack back. We got to get our attack stat back. Slow, 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 slow game, man. This is nuts. This is nuts. He's gonna withdraw Urshifu again. Oh my god, dude. Probably bring back out Togekiss if I had to guess. Nope. Whimsy comes out. He's gonna withdraw Incineroar again. And he's gonna go into this one's Togekiss. Jeez, man. Leave me alone. The swaps are insane here. Still four Pokemon versus four. We'll get the special attack drop there. I'm gonna get my attack boost back. Knuckling. Yoy. Nope. A teeny bit of damage. Just, just a tiny bit. A tiny bit. I think he's going to go back into Incineroar, to be honest with you. But I think he's going to swap into the Whimsicott slot. That's got to be what's happening. I'm going to wait off this for this taunt. Bro, this battle, man. I'm not dealing with it. Uh, Flare Blitz. I'm just going to go in here. Him take out with the Flare Blitz. And I'm going to just Spear Break this left side again. Oh, my lord. What is going on here? I'm just going to withdraw the Toe Kiss. Which all the whims caught if you're gonna withdraw anybody? Got my attack stat back. <laughs> Stop it, yo! I need this Incineroar gone if I'm gonna if I'm gonna win this match. My, I feel like my Tango is gonna have to be the clutch clutch guy. I think even if we lose this one, this is only a two battle video. These ones are long. These ones are like the longest battles I ever had. But I'm glad I got to show up Leaky Leaky in battle number one and potentially Tango in this battle here. But let's go. Why didn't anybody name Grimstar Stranger Things? Doesn't he, doesn't he kind of look like some, something that could be in Stranger Things? Moonblast coming out here. Ah! We eat, though. We eat. That thing's minus one. About to be minus two. Air Slash coming out here. We eat that, too. We eat that all day. Don't you dare make me flinch. I'm going to cry a little bit. Ah! I told you I was going to cry. <laughs> what if comes out? Uh, say bye, Togi. Togi. Gone. Get it. Gone, kid. All right. You're gone. You're out of here. Incineroar's gotta come out here. That's gotta be a fact. And I might just dig away here. I'm trying to shakes off taunt. Reflects well. I'm gonna get off that reflect. Try to screen up again. <laughs> this game is crazy, dude. Who are you going into, sir? This is nuts. This is, this is too crazy for me. Urshifu comes out. Okay. Urshifu coming out. I'd love to go into Flare Blitz, but... Mm. No, I'm gonna uh, Flare Blitz you down. We'll try Iron Tail it. I'm gonna... Actually, Iron Tail's probably the call here. Even though it's a low... 
It has a low chance hitting, but still. Actually, let's set up the reflect here. I don't want my boy going down. I'll set up the reflect. Because he does have... Uh, his two bulky guys are going to be his physical attackers. Or his two, his two last Pokemon are going to be his big attackers. It's going to be that Urshfu and that uh, Incineroar, which are both physical. So, reflect needs to be up here for these last eight turns. Ah, man. Stop it, man. But the uh, reason I am going into this Iron Tail is in case he swaps here. Like I said, there we go. That guy didn't go into the Flare Blitz. And now it gets Iron Tail off on this... Uh, this Incineroar, so it's a nice little call. He does get the Intimidate off. He got a Dynamax. I feel like he's Dynamax here. The Urshifu. Yep, here it comes. Dynamax and Urshifu. I need this Incineroar gone, man. I need him gone if I'm going to do anything. Like, I need him gone. I mean, then he could taunt me. I could go into a Muddy Water, take him out, and get out Tangrowth. And Tangrowth is very defensive bulky, so I think he can take up a few shots from this Urshifu and then roll from there. So, we will actually see. We will see. See exactly what happens. Reflect comes out. Yay! And show me this big old Iron Tail coming out here. I'm gonna go for a Steel Spike. Take out my Grimmsnarl. I'm cool with it. Grimmsnarl dropping. Grimmsnarl dropping. If this Iron Tail doesn't take out, I don't think it will. Then I'll just go into a Muddy Water next turn. He can taunt me. That's fine. Go, ahead, go for your taunt. Go for it, little boy. Iron Tail coming out. Dang it, man! God! Game stinks! <laughs> Let's get out Slow King. Leave that Lumberry as well. They have a defense boost, but the rest of my Pokemon are special attacking besides my Flareon. Um. If we go into a. Hmm. Could dig away, but. Say I just drop a superpower. Let's say I just drop a superpower into this thing. Nah, we're gonna take away. We're gonna take away and go after you. But I feel like a muddy water should be able to do some work over here. And I feel like he's just gonna taunt me, right? Go ahead, show me that you are taunting me. Show me that you are taunting me. Watch, he's not gonna taunt. I'm gonna be like, bro, what you mean? Taunt. Oh, we're coming out of turn one for fake out. Oh, I could have went for the trick room, man. I could have went for the trick room. I could have went for the trick room easy. I could have got it up. It could have been game over. It could have been game over. But come on, can you please do me a favor? Can you take out this Incineroar? Larry on flinches, take out the Incineroar, please. Do him. I have to go for an attacking move. I got drop Incineroar here. He's gotta go. He gotta go. Gotta go. He does have a bug move, which is oh, that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. Tangrowth, I need you here, big dog. I'm gonna need Tangrowth here. Wow, I could have got off that trick room. Another Flutterby is gonna come out here. I couldn't do it this turn. Flutterby is gonna take me out. Wow, I could have gotten off that trick room. But your boy thought he was taunting. Your boy thought he was taunting. He's gonna lever special attack again. The Flareon should be able to eat up whatever Incineroar has to offer here. Oh, I'm coming out here. She's gonna taunt me. That's totally fine. I guess he was trying to taunt my slow king. Superpower comes out. Yo, see you later, Incineroar. I'll sacrifice Flareon for this. I still think a Flare Blitz could take out the Wimps guy. And then I could just Giga Drain out here. Giga Drain. Oh, yeah. Or I could Sleep Powder. I think Sleep Powder would be the best call. I think we just Sleep Powder here. Put that Urshifu to sleep. And then we go from there. Flare Blitz into Sleep Powder. And then we just start Giga Draining out. Tangro. Tangro, baby. Dude, how long is this battle, man? This is insane. This is insane, guys. Hope you guys are still enjoying the content. If you are, you guys already know the deal. Show some support. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. All that good stuff. But. Do I just go into gigs? Nah, we gotta, we gotta put this thing to sleep. This sleep better lane. This sleep better lane. I'm not dealing with the, the double bug moves. Cause he can probably maybe two tap me, even though I'm defensive bulky and with the reflect. No stab, we might be able to eat up maybe three. We might be able to eat up two, and the third one might kill me. Let's just see what he has. Dude, let's see what you're doing, fool. You're not expecting Tangrowth. Yo, look at his hair, dude. He has a little, like, his hair coming down, like, looking spiffy, bro. Little two vines looking like their hair. There's no point in setting up uh, Tailwind, so I, I kind of hope he goes for a Tailwind. Waste a turn like that. He's gonna go Moonblast. Yeah. 
Moonblast over on to Tangrowth. Okay, Tangrowth, eat up, buddy. Thank you very much. Tangrowth eats up. And the U turn's coming out here. You should be able to eat this up, I'm thinking. Yeah. Really bulky. I'll get off this sleep. We should be chilling. Flare Blitz comes out. Flare Blitz should be able to take out. Yep, Flare Blitz take out. Land this sleep for me, buddy. Land it in this game. We already missed an attack. We missed an Iron Tail, so we should be good. We shouldn't be missing here. Yes! Let's go, baby! And growth coming in the end. People have been trying to counter my trick rooms. I've just been playing slow. Our leftovers popping out here. I'm a Giga Drain. I'm going to hit him with superpower. I'm going to do it all. I'm going to get off on this fool. Give me that. I want my HP back. Oh, he timed right now. Yeah, we would have won anyway. We would have ran out. Time ran out on his end. We pick up the win and we go 2 0 for this video. Very fun trick room team. I had tons of fun. Randy, thank you so much for dropping this team for me. The Licky Licky and Tangrowth is everything I wanted, yo. I love both these Pokemon. We played it slow. Licky Licky clutched up the first battle. Tangrowth clutched up that second battle. And we ended up winning both, going 2 0 in two very long battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.